Hey, it's Chronologically Gaming, the only channel that's perpetually retro because we're playing every video game in order of release. No other show on Twitch or YouTube would dare play video games from the 70s, but we did, and not only did we play games from the 70s, we're now in 1979 playing the rest of the video games that came out in some point in 1979. Which means that this is your chance to let me know if there's any games we missed playing in the 70s. We have played every video game from the 70s, and this is The Last Run. The last game we left on was Dungeon Quest, Temple of Apshai. And let's move to our next game, which is the same one. It's Dungeon Quest, the Temple of Apshai, but on the Commodore Pet. When we tried to load it on our TRS-80, it wasn't so profitable, but hopefully we can get the Commodore PET to boot up for us. So uh, as far as artwork, it is the same as we saw before. And if you want to get a little bit of the lore, we, we dabbled in uh, some of the role-playing elements of the Temple of Apshai. So let's check it out. This is 1979. Oh, there we go. That is our Commodore PET booting up. Or it's our car uh, screech screeching against the highway. For this game to load, I actually had to load a different model of the Commodore PET. There is about uh, 12 different models. And uh, some of the times when we play these games, we're going to have to find which model is going to load the game correctly. I really hope this one goes all the way. Come on, little pewter. You can do it. So at this point, we're playing a game that came out at some point in 1979. And we're going to finish up the rest of the games in alphabetical order. So we're in D, and eventually when we get to the end, we'll have been done with the entire decade of the 70s and played every video game from the 70s. And it loaded! So, great first step. All right, let's see how this runs. Press any key to continue. Thus quoth the innkeeper, Hail and well met, noble adventurer. Oh yes, we're really playing a role-playing game when it uses Old English. Hast thou a character already, or should I find thee one? Say yea, if I should. Uh... Does that mean I say yes? So I'm going to say yes. Oh, wait, no, we don't have a character already. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, it gave us one. Cool, so it already filled out the information. I guess it. if you say yes, then it gives you a character and fills out the stuff. So we've got intelligence, intuition, ego, strength, constitution, dexterity. Thou hast 30, 130 pieces of silver. Thy character's name will be Chrono. I don't know if this computer uses capital and lowercase. Hopefully we don't break anything. Wilt thou buy one of our fine swords? Uh, yeah. Gotta have a sword if I'm gonna fight people. What weapon wilt thou purchase? So it gives us our examples. This is our first dip into a real role-playing game. We played a few dungeon crawlers, a few roguelikes, but this is the very first game we played on the channel that is a true role-playing game, taking a lot of elements from Dungeons & Dragons. So, ooh, let's pretend we're a thief and do dagger. Uh, I guess I just type in dagger. Feast thy eyes upon this fine dagger. It is well forged iron. What offerest thou? Oh, so you can uh, offer a price? How about four gold? Will you give it me for that? Oh, nice. So it, they told us the price was five, but I said four. So I, I got a, a one gold deal. Thou hast 126 silver pieces left. Wilt thou buy a shield? Yea, I will. And then they give us the examples of shields, small and large. I'm going to be lightweight, so let's try small. And he's asking for 10. Will he give it to me for 8? Oh, he is. He's a nice innkeeper. He's a good guy. Maybe it's because if you look at our stats at the beginning, I got good, uh, good uh, talking abilities. Now, wilt thou buy new armor? Yay, I will. What sort of armor wouldst thou wear? Oh, we got all kinds of armor here. So, uh, let's go full Megillah. Uh, welcome, Chiptune Chronicles. Yeah, we're going to see if we can really lowball him and see what happens. Uh, he's seeing if we can get something crazy. So, let's try full plate. And then, okay, he's offering, it's a thousand. I don't even have a thousand. Let's see if we can get it for 50 bucks. <laughs> I spit on thy poultry, Alpha. All right, so I'll try a different one. Uh, I don't even think I can try a, th a thousand because I don't have that much. Liar, thou hast but 118. Uh, I'll say nay. Okay, so redo from the start, uh, which means I pick... Uh, let's try ring mail. Oh, from the start, so yes. Oh, from leather. Oh, no. Yes. 
uh-oh, did I break the game? Uh-oh, <laughs> I switched to something else. Now I just keep saying redo from the start. Uh, start. No, I messed it up. All right, let's see if we can try it a different way because I want to get into what the game looks like from the beginning. So let's do a reset. And we'll have to load it from the beginning. Oh no. There we go, our Commodore pet is mad at us. <laughs> All right, so it's loading again. This is hopefully a slight faster load time than the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little fast forward on us. We're kind of cheating the uh, system from 1979. Okay, so here we go. This is, uh, so, so you find the one. Yes, find us someone. So they're gonna give us someone again random uh, that they picked before. Oh, it is different stats, but uh, we got more ego this time, so we'll take it. Thou hast 100 pieces of silver. Our name is Chrono. Yes, we will buy a sword. I will have a dagger. Oh wait, sorry. Oh, oh, I just said dag e, and it knew what it, it knew what it was. Okay, let's offer three bucks. Ooh, not so cheap, my friend. But for the just four. Oh, so four. Okay, so he is doing uh, giving us a one buck difference. Oh yes, we will we'll buy a shield, and I'll buy a small one. Let's try eight. Oh, okay, he's only going to do 10 for this one. So, uh, armor, yes, we do need armor. We only got 96 pieces of gold left. Let's go cheap and do leather. And let's try 20 bucks. Blackheart, thou takest food from thy children's mouths. <laughs> no less than 24. Okay, so 24. All right, so we got 72 gold silver pieces left, sorry. Uh, a bow, yeah, we want a bow. I have a fine bow, you and nearly new. For 12 pieces. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Oh, 12. <laughs> I just said one on accident. Ha! Tis less than I paid for it. 12 then. Okay, so we had 60 pieces of silver left. How many arrows wilt thou buy? At five coppers each. Uh, let's do 10 arrows. So we only got 55 silver. Uh, oh, they'll cost 10 each. Oh, how many salves will we buy? Uh, let's do two salves. And then, Chrono, thou spinthrift. 37, 35 silver pieces left. Monster speed. Ooh, okay. Uh, we're going to go nuts because we're not going to be able to play. We're not going to play too much. So let's go fast. Fast monster speed. Okay, here we go. He gives us our character summary. Again, this is a full-blown role-playing game, 1979. One of the earliest. This is even before we play uh, Ultima and Wizardry. This is Dungeon Quest. All right, so which level wouldst thou visit? So this is the levels of the dungeon. We're starting on, wait, are we going to go crazy and go 12? Yes, we are. We're going to see what level 12 uh, looks like. I don't even know what graphics this has because the Commodore Pet only has ASCII characters. So when we saw action games before, they were using text characters to make action show up on the screen. Oh, I'm, I'm freaking the game out. I said 12 and hit enter, and now we're just hanging out, waiting for it to load. I don't know if this is loading a new level every time or if it's roguelike or not. I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't played too much. But we got some activity. Here we go. And we just heard from the chat. Chiptune Chronicle says it's going to be a massacre. And yes, Chrono may die. Oh, so we have something coming up. We got a display right here. It's showing us our wounds, fatigue, what room we're in. And then uh, our weight, how much we, we weigh. And then our character is... It is. Okay. The, 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 the far left... Uh, blobby. It looks like it, that is a total of five pixels. That is our character. And I'm controlling it with keyboard only. When I push the button to move, watch how long it takes. That is me moving around. Uh, down, up, left, and right. And then it looks like a skeleton appears. That's represented by four pixels. And is it real time or is it turn-based? It is. It's real time. I'm not touching anything and the skeleton's moving at me. I want to see if I can get a strike on him. Attack the skeleton. Okay, so if, if I move off the screen, it's having to rebuild everything. Very, very slow, but what we'd expect for a computer at the time. The fact that this is doing a full role-playing experience is nuts. Well, I want to move up. North. North. Everything's moving me to the right for some reason. Uh, let's try uh, left. Oh, there we go. Oh, you have to turn. Whoa. Okay, so there is only a movement key to move and then you have a turn key where you turn your character in different ways. 
Okay, so this is a perfect example of what a world playing game would be like in 1979. We've played some faster roguelikes. This one is still creepingly slow. This is the Commodore PET, one of the first home computers you could have. But I did want to see what the graphics looked like. And this would be something you could really dig your teeth into to play. We will not go super far with Temple of Apshai, but that is the best thing you could play for the time. So we gave our last one, which was the TRS-80. That was a four. And so we're going to give this one, since we could play this one and actually get it to run, we're going to give it four and a half because something this in depth for 1979 is so impressive. Incredible. And from the chat, Chiptune Chronicle says we need some coffee to play this. Yes, <laughs> you'll, you'll be playing for hours, staying awake and waiting for your character to move. But that was Temple of Apshai.